Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome to my garden. My name is Blanca and today we're gonna walk around. Um, so it is Saturday, February 20th. A little bit cooler than it's been. Um, it's about 64 degrees right now and a little windy. So I hope the wind um, doesn't, doesn't annoy you guys because it, it, it is blowing. Uh, anyway, I just hope that anybody that's watching from up north, uh, hopefully this video will bring you a little bit of warmth. Um, I can't even imagine um, what you guys are going through with all of that snow. So I, I'm praying for you guys. I hope, like I said, that this video warms you up a little bit. I am in South Florida and anyway, we're going to take a walk today. <laughs> all right. So last video, I did show you guys that my Schomburgia um, was starting to bloom and yes it is indeed these are some flower spikes they have gotten super super long I can't even tell you how excited I am I'm gonna show you her tag because I cannot pronounce this name but it is a NYC grandiflora um, I did get I did get this one um, about a year and a half ago um, from Carib orchids right before they um, they shut down um, they retired so anyway I am ecstatic because it's the first time my Schomburgias, um actually bloom for me I have another one which has been attached to an oak tree for about four years now and has never bloomed um, you guys always told me they need full sun so this is where it's been uh, since I got her um, that's why some of the leaves there are a little bit burned but you know what I am going to get flowers, so I am so, so happy um, that that's happening. Um, also right over here, let's see, I've got, um, I showed you this one last video too, which is a Dendrobium nobili that came from a box from Carmela. Uh, this one I got April of 2020, it was in bloom, and now I'm gonna start to get, I'm gonna start to get lots of new blooms from her. And this one, um, I, do keep, I do keep in a, in a pot. The other ones are all attached to my trees. And you know what? It's doing good. It's doing good. So anyway, we're going to walk. Um, let's see. I'm going to answer some of the questions that you guys leave on my videos. It's just easier when I, when, I, um, when I answer those questions on a video. So one of the questions that you guys ask very frequently is the fronds. The fronds on my palm trees. Do they ever come down? Am I ever fearful of them breaking spikes? And yeah, I am. Um, it doesn't happen often. And the, little, the few times that it has happened... Um, it does. I'm going to actually turn the corner right here. Uh, the, the few times that it has happened, yes, I do get very frustrated. But those are one of the things that I have to deal with, having my orchids mounted. Um, but like I said, it doesn't happen often, so so they're okay. Look at this one. This is a Dendrobium nobili I attached about two years ago. And look at that. Look at how many flower buds. Um, so it's funny. I have been um, watching some YouTube videos the past few days. You know, sometimes I do get a little bit busy and I can't, I can't watch them all. But the ones that I have watched, I am so, so amazed. Look at this, um, Benjobium Burrata Jade in bloom. So, so amazed on how many flowers. I mean, orchids this year are doing amazing. Uh, my friends on Instagram, my friends on YouTube, you guys have amazing orchids and they are, you know they're just thriving this year i guess 2020 was horrible for all of us but 2021 at least our orchids are giving us lots of happiness with all of their beautiful flowers anyways this is my sherry baby look at that flower spike and at this time oh it smells amazing it smells amazing so i'm here watching videos and thinking my goodness i need to up my orchid game <laughs> so many beautiful orchids i'm seeing Oh my goodness, um, Todd, you're one of them. Hello, I need to go into your polytunnel and take a whiff. You're saying, look at this, look at this beautiful dendrobium. I mean, uh, Ancidium twinkle, how beautiful. So anyway, um, yeah, so Todd from Todd Tropics, Tro Todd Tropicals has the most amazing orchids blooming in his polytunnel. And last video that I saw, he said it smelled like a lemonade stand. I can't even imagine. How awesome. So I do need to up my orchid game a little bit. I do want to add some um, some different orchids to my to my collection. Look at this beauty. I cannot stop looking at it. So, um, but you know what? I've always said in the past, and I keep saying, I cannot, you know, grow so many orchids or try to collect so many orchids that I can't grow. So I have to stick to what works for me. 
this is a flower spike on my zygo. I can't even, I can't even imagine what she's gonna look like. Well, she's bloomed before, so I know what she's gonna look like, but I'm so excited. Look at these plump, beautiful spikes. This is my zygo. This was a gift from Linda. She gave this to me at one of the shows. And Linda, if you're watching, it is gonna bloom again for me. I'm trying to look for her tag. Oh, here it is. All right, so this is the Zygo Blue Blazes Berry Ford. There you go. Anyway, so yeah, so I watch everybody's videos and I'm like, oh my goodness, how beautiful, but can I grow that? So I did try to grow an Agrecum and it didn't work. So, you know, it's... Anyway, I just love it. I love that everybody um, has all these gorgeous and amazing fragrant blooms growing in their garden. This is what's growing in my garden. <laughs> We've got lots of fowls. We've got lots of dendrobiums, which is what love to grow in my garden. Look at this beauty. Look at what a pretty, pretty fowl. That is an awesome flower right there. And then I've got another spike. So these I keep in baskets. Not everything is mounted. Oh, which I did want to show you guys. Um, look at this one too. So a few weeks ago, I added a ton of, um, of fowls to my fowl tree where I like to keep them and we got a cold front and guess what all of the leaves turned really really ugly so I did get a lot of leaf damage from the last cold front look at that so I'm probably gonna have to um, take some of those new fowls that I attached take them away because I just think they're gonna they're not gonna thrive Look at these flower spikes. Look at these buds. Beautiful. And then I've already showed you guys my attached dendrobiums right here and my dendrobium sweet pinky love. Look at that. So we'll call this the dendrobium tree. Look at that. What a beauty. It is really windy, so I really hope the wind is not annoying you guys. Almost in full bloom. And I've got a yellow towel going back there. Right. Let's go to my orchid set, my, um, my little orchid section right back here. So what's blooming in here, which is very exciting, is this beautiful orange nugget. There you go. So here's the tag. So this is a DLC Fuchs Orange Nugget Leah. And I have seen these also in bloom in other YouTube videos. It's a shame that these beautiful orange flowers have no fragrance because they are gorgeous i can't even imagine if they did what they would smell like there you go. so that's the orange nugget in bloom and then i've got another um another nugget here where she's more yellow and this is a gold the nugget digger vlc nugget digger number 57. Goodness, and it is crazy. That's really pretty. And I hope that this little cold front that we got does not damage any of these. All right, now my Vandas. Ooh. So look at this, you guys. This is my Vanda Tavi Tat. It's the Ascascenda Tavi Bat. <laughs> It is red, and this one smells, you guys, mm, smells like fruit punch. There you go. That's the flowers on this one. Let me move right. Kind of relocated over here because it was, the sun was hitting it directly the other day, so I didn't want to mess with her blooms. So this one I got from Bang Jong, and I'm just going to put it here so you guys can see her blooms better. There you go. I got this beauty from Bang Jong, and... Look at the flower spike, I love it. I've got two flower spikes on her. She is a vibrant red, like a, like a 
like a red burgundy color and she does smell like fruit punch I love it mmm smells really really nice and like I said I got it at Bang Jong I think it was probably maybe like $35 $40 and it's got a two beautiful two beautiful spikes and like I said I hope that this cold weather does not ruin these these blooms still in bloom is my hybrid here, my Vanda Veningsoniana with Pumila and Mini Palmer, which also smells amazing. There you go. And then one of her parents, I'm just gonna scoot, scoot down here, but under here. All right, so one of her parents is a Vanda Denisoniana, which is right over here, which has three flower spice growing. And this one is all yellow, it's beautiful, it's very fragrant. And then I've got the same one that I just showed you in Spike, her sister, which is going to look totally different. It's more pink. And then I've got the Vanda Pixie Dust from Moats right here, which is going to open soon. And the Moats Pixie Dust. So in all of these bloom, of course, I'm going to show you guys and give you guys updates on these. Um, and then I was walking around did find some other flower spikes. Now I do think that this one has a little bit of thrips. So once it gets um, a little bit warmer, I am going to spray for thrips. Uh, let's see. Oh, my Vanda Pachera Delight is in bloom. Or not in bloom, it's in spike. And too bad I've got some thrips going on for sure because look at these two flower spikes from uh, for my Rincon Stylus. This is a Rincon Stylus Co Marie Bang Jong. And you see the brown? That's thrips. So definitely I'm going to have to spray for thrips again once it gets warmer because those nasty bugs are back. Let's see what else. This one is still in bloom, still very fragrant. And then I've got another flower spike right here which is my Vanda Crystal Smith. So this is again the Ascacenda Tavitat. There you go. All right, you guys. Um, so this is what's blooming today. Let's see. On this side of the garden, I've got some new open fowls. So that's what's in bloom in my garden today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I hope this video brought you guys a little bit of warmth um, for you guys up north that are dealing with all this terrible weather. And um, I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend and a great week ahead. I will see you guys soon in my next video. Um, if you have any... So you guys are always sending me pictures of orchids that I should get. But um, if you think that there is an orchid out there that I can definitely grow in my garden, send it my way. Like I said, I want to up my orchid game a little bit. Maybe add um, some more Cattleyas. I don't know. I'm um, going to have to see if I give Carmela orchids a call, see what they have um, as far as Cattleyas go. Maybe go to RF. I just want to, um, I don't know. Seeing all those videos, I'm inspired to get new ones. I just want to make sure that they will do well under my care and in my garden. So um, always open for, oh, let me show you this one. Always open for um, recommendations. pretty tiny fowls growing on my my driftwood always open to some some recommendations what you ever you guys um recommend and think i should add to my collection so anyway that's today's video thank you guys for watching and stay warm have a wonderful one bye, -bye.